Today's educational game that I play is a fun chemistry puzzle about the shapes of the atoms that form the molecules. So now I will just look at the chemical formulas and will match them with the shape of that compound. And let me begin with the most simple molecule shape. This is a linear shape. And I have one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. There they are. And the compound is the carbon dioxide. Okay, the next shape is the bent shape of the molecule. And this is the water is the perfect the perfect example of bonding the hydrogen and oxygen. But they are two. When, when there are two atoms of hydrogen, because I think if they are more, the bonding will be in different position, and this is because I have observed that the fluorine and and the sulfur have uh, two connections. One is the octahedral. And one is the CSL. <laughs> okay, I will reach them, but first the simpler ones. Uh, I'm searching for sulfur O, sulfur oxygen. Hmm, there it is, the trigonal planar shape. That is sulfur trioxide or trioxide, trioxide. There we go. Now if I, I make it wrong, it will return and take me a try. I have to sort this for the last, the last tries that I can. And what is the next one? Nitrogen and three hydrogen. There it is. This is the shape. Trigonal. Pyramidal. Pyramid. Pyramidal. Compound ammonia. Ah, ammonia. There we go. Now I'm looking for chlorine. Chlorine trifluorid. <laughs> this is the T shape of bonding of atoms to form the molecule. And the CH4, this should be the meth, methan, methan, with the shape of the molecule tetrahedral. There we go. And the last three is, uh, let's see, sulfur tetrafluorid. There it is. The xeon tetrafluorid. Huh, look. The floor is bonded with xenon and sulfur differently. Why? Well, this is not a matter of this exercise, but I'm still exploring chemistry. One step at a time. The last shape is the octahedral. With an example, the compound example is the sulfur hexafluorid. <laughs> and I made it.